It's hard to sleep easy these days. What with everything that's happened. Zolf. Very soon the kid's gonna have to face that man again. For the last time. They met on the worst day of Zolf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple Ur couple who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel terminals. So he took the stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. Once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman like it was his own son, taught him theology, history, and mercy. missionary passed away, Zolf promised to continue his work to bring about a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen. And listen they did. advocated tolerance 
and argued that the Earth should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. However, Zoe felt he could only do so much in the Tazel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the era had changed. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. The journey was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. He endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. This young lady was fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. Gardens was their favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped their hands and proposed in proper Ceylonian style. He celebrated with his friends long into the night. Joy and revelry like he'd never seen. Too bad he couldn't remember it all. He woke up alone underground inside the Ura Ceylandian War Memorial, built like an Ura Den. But something was wrong.
emerged from that hole in the ground into a waking nightmare. Everything that wasn't gone was twisted upside down. What few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and vacant eyes. inside her home, but when he reached out to her, she joined with all the ashes in the sky. Zolf returned to where he proposed in the hanging gardens, and there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. The kid's gonna be okay. As for that man, who knows?